Hello, welcome to part two of my discussion of the book, The Elephant in the Room, One Fat Man's Quest to Get Smaller in a Growing America by Tommy Tomlinson. Uh, hopefully you've watched part one. I discussed the book, what I thought about it, uh, kind of a semi-review of the book. Uh, part two here, where I'm going next, is to expand on a on an analogy that the author used in the book and that is to say in our minds we have let's say uh, thought patterns uh, it's kind of like a mental radio that plays and how do we change that we know we're, we're, we're stuck with certain habits and, and addictions and we have a desire to, I'm just talking about weight loss now, we have a desire to change. How do we do that? What do we have to do to rewire our brain? And, and uh, Mr. Tomlinson in his book talks about a radio channel called You Suck FM, which <clears throat> that plays in our minds. Uh, it's a negative channel. It uh, tells us everything you know, don't even try, you're, you're not worthy, uh, you'll probably fail, what do you think you're doing, uh, you know, give up, start next month, you know, it's anything to get you to do nothing or to procrastinate or tell you that you're a loser. Um, and this is sort of the end result of, of failing many times and, and being unsuccessful, having bad habits and not being able to break them. And so we, we, it kind of results in, in this kind of a real negative uh, uh, environment where we're beating ourselves up. Uh, and, and so I, I started thinking about this, this You Suck FM, the negativity, and I started reflecting on my weight loss journey and, and how did it change? How, what was the catalyst? Uh, because I certainly, I don't really have USUC FM playing now. I used to, de definitely. I, I remember that channel. Uh, it's gone, though, but I didn't really focus on it. I didn't, like, that wasn't where I started. I didn't say, i got to change the, change the station. i got to reprogram this. I'm just going to think positive or whatever. That wasn't, that wasn't how I got out of it. And, and so I kept thinking about this, and I said, well, there's got to be other, it's a mental thing, so there's got to be other radio stations playing. And I kept thinking about it, and I, I came up with, I, I'm using, I'm working with this analogy of the brain uh, radio station, and I came up with a couple more channels. And uh, for me, it's, it clicks and it makes sense, and so I'm going to present that now. Um, if you look here, I'm going to put up a graphic here of the mental radio channels. <clears throat> and there's three of them. You'll see left to right, the, there's USUC FM. In the middle is easy listening, and on the right is conventional wisdom. These are just names I came up with it for the, these channels and what they represent. But if you, We'll just talk about them now. Uh, you suck FM. I put that under the heading. This is our personal outlook. This is our inner dialogue, our source of our motivation. It comes on automatically. Uh, the station format the, the, is called You Suck FM. The description of the playlist is it's focused on self doubt. It's negative. Uh, the greatest hits on this channel are uh, down at the bottom. It's these are the greatest hits. Something is wrong with you. You're a loser. You can't succeed. You're a failure, so why bother? You don't have enough willpower. I'll turn over a new leaf next month. That type of thing. That, that's, the, that's what you're getting with USUC FM. And uh, then uh, the other channel that, that we have to deal with um, is in the center there. I call it Habits and Addictions. Uh, these are, this is what we love to do, whether by habit or addiction, and they're ingrained over a lifetime. Uh, so I call this the easy listening channel because 
this playlist on this channel, it, this is what we love. This is a comfort food. This is an escape. It makes us feel good. It's what we crave. Uh, in terms of food, this is the sugary foods, the fast foods, the foods of our childhood, what we, what we grew up with. Uh, could also be other, it could be alcohol or cigarettes or other addictions, but I'm, in this example, I'm pretty much just leaving it to, to food right now. Uh, now, this station comes on uh, when we're feeling down, we're desperate, stressed, or not even thinking at all. These are, these are habits and or addictions. So it's just automatically. Now, it can be good habits or bad habits. Now, for a lot of us, we evolve and make choices that result in bad habits over our lifetime. And, uh, and we get stuck here and it becomes an addiction. Now, some of the greatest hits on this uh, channel are A Small Bite Won't Matter, Ice Cream, Big Mac, uh, Banana Cream Pie, Hershey Kisses, Coca-Cola, Potato Chips. I deserve this. Uh, these are some of the greatest hits on this channel. You know, this is, this is comforting stuff that we're addicted to and makes us feel good. Um, and then the, the channel on the right, the other channel that, uh, that I want to talk about, I'm just calling environment because this, is, this represents everything around us, all of our surroundings. This is where we learn sources of knowledge, ideas, facts, news, methods, information. This is, this is what we draw from when we're seeking some information. And I'm calling the channel here Conventional Wisdom because this is a lot of us just get stuck at this level. It's everything that the information cloud we've been surrounded by all of our lives. And I'm calling it the Food, pharma, media, matrix of misinformation. And I got a little, I'm going to trademark that, the FPMMM, uh, which in my view is designed to keep us fat and sick. I mean, didn't always used to be that way, but that's how I see it now. This is what you might call fake news or corporatized science and marketing, uh, vested interests. This is everything on TV from the ads to the, to the, shows that the embedded marketing that's in TV shows or documentaries, it's all embedded with, with agendas now. Uh, and, and unfortunately, our friends and our family are also infected by the same message. It's pervasive. Uh, we're surround, all of us are surrounded by this media. Um, and uh, it's, it's pills or surgery as a first option treatment for anything, any kind of illness or even weight loss. It's, uh, that's, that's what's preached. So this is the conventional wisdom channel. And this is our environment. Now, the greatest hits, I've listed some of them here. Uh, just eat less and move more. Uh, this is the response to, uh, to an overweight person. Uh, avoid fat. Have a salad. Uh, you're obese because you lack willpower. It's all about counting calories. Bottom line, this is, this is what they preach. Uh, eat 10 servings of grains per day. Uh, eat, five, eat fruit five times per day. Eat often to rev up your metabolism. Uh, eat only lean proteins. Avoid red meat and also, you know, avoid fat at all costs. Um, fiber is heart healthy. Um, all things in moderation. These are the typical, in terms of food and advice for, for people and how to eat, this is what comes out of the conventional wisdom channel. And this is kind of the setup for how I see our, our, our mental radios are set up with these channels. And what I see happening, based on what happened to me, is I feel that, you know, I grew up and I, on my easy listening channel, I developed bad habits. I, I, I chose bad habits. Some of it's voluntary. I chose bad habits and I got addicted to bad foods, and it ended up in bad, bad results. I, I kept gaining weight, you know, I got fat, and I didn't like that, and from time to time, I would try to do something about it. 
Now, you suck, you suck FM wasn't really playing in the beginning. I d hadn't really developed the negative attitude. It just, I started with just having bad habits, and I, and I didn't like that. So what I would do, and what a lot of us do, is you go, okay, what am I going to do about it? You turn on the conventional wisdom channel, and you try to figure out, okay, what do I do about this? I'm gaining, I gained 20, 30 pounds since high school, or 40 pounds. Uh, I'm buying all new clothes. I'm not, I don't look good anymore. You know, what do I do? So you go to conventional wisdom. Uh, that's your first stop because these are experts. These are in the media. These are all the, you know, people that should know what to do. And you come out with these, these, uh, eat less, move more, uh, go low fat, uh, eat often, eat, you know, uh, limit your calories, uh, this, and this is what I always did. And maybe I forgot one of the greatest hits. Um, you got to exercise. Uh, in, in fact, I did forget about that should be the conventional wisdom is to exercise, get a gym membership, start running, start working out, lifting weights, uh, just run your butt off, uh, and start lifting weights like a crazy man while you're while you're uh, reducing calories. Uh, this is the way. This is what you do. Um, and so you you know, I'd start on uh, trying to develop these new habits according to conventional wisdom station. And time would go on, and maybe I'd have some success. Uh, maybe I lose some weight, but it, it became real tiresome and real hard to adapt and make it permanent. Um, you know, the, the reward became less and less as time went on. And it was like, wow, I can't, I can't live this way. And finally throw in the towel <clears throat> and, um, and say, you know what, I, I, I'm enough of this going back to, you know, and then suddenly you suck FM starts playing. It's like, ah, you're a loser. You can't do it. Something's wrong with you. And then you get a little down and stressed and then you start looking for those comfortable escapes. The escape food, ah, you know, ice cream. And get back to the, back you dig the hole further. You just keep digging deeper because this is, at least you feel good, you know. You, so it's back to, you suck FM is now playing and you're back to easy listening and, and time goes on. And you repeat this cycle. I repeated this cycle. Every so often I'd try to escape from the you suck FM and easy listening habits and addictions and negativity and I had escaped by looking at conventional wisdom and and then finding that didn't work so it's just the cycle of spiraling downward and I don't know this is how it was for me uh this is how I see it now looking back I didn't realize this I put in this I put this together after the fact after now after coming through and being successful at, at, at losing weight, I'm, I'm starting to put together the pieces now to figure it out. And this is what I came up with. So this was my, let's say, my mental radio channels, how they were set up, how they were programmed before I started. Now, let's flip over to, to the next screen. And this is where I ended up. Now, this is, let's say, current. Now, when I started my journey for weight loss, I didn't have this in mind. I had no clue any of this was going on. I just, I really didn't have any plan or any idea. Um, but what I want to say, number one, my number one point of why I'm talking about this mental channel setup is that the number one key to affect any kind of change successful in the long term is you've got to rewire the the environment channel first that is where it starts uh and and that's where it started for me my very first um uh, change was uh it, it the uh the spark was set by reading a book called the obesity code by dr jason fung and you'll see on on my new mental radio, I call the environment now, I, I changed that channel to alternative media. 
And I put an example of one of the greatest hits in alternative media is The Obesity Code by Dr. Jason Fung. Um, so here, this is still the environment now, but what it is is now seeking independent voices. Uh, social media, people telling stories, not selling stories or not selling products, uh, people challenging dogma or challenging bad science and corporatism, uh, people self-experimentation, uh, real voices. There's a lot going on out there uh, that's outside of the mainstream uh, conventional wisdom channel and you got to break that mold for you got to break down those barriers and start looking outside of that first you got to realize that there is that you're surrounded by this this barrier of misinformation and start looking for for these smaller voices more important voices to see what's going on so i'm calling that channel now the alternative media uh, and I list the greatest hits, and this is just scratching the surface. These are just ones that came to mind. Um, first are some books, The Big Fat Surprise by Nina Teichels. I recommend anybody starting on a journey read that book because your eyes will be opened. Uh, the Obesity Code by Jason Fung. This was, my, this was the first insight I had uh, when I read that book I knew when I read that book that I was reading something important and it could possibly change my life. I just knew it. I had a feeling. Um, good Calories, Bad Calories, another example. Gary Tobbs, uh, this is another good place to start. Uh, another couple names, Robert Lustig, uh, Tim Noakes. Uh, a very important paper that just came out last year, Effects of a Low-Carbohydrate Diet on Energy Expenditure During Weight Loss maintenance, randomized trial, uh, British Medical Journal 2018, David Ludwig uh, et al. This paper is a landmark paper. I, I suggest you look at it. It's a very good trial. Randomized controlled style shows clearly that diet does make a huge difference. And a low carbohydrate diet in particular is particularly helpful for weight loss. And just to put a little editorial on it, I combined the low carbohydrate diet with the principles in the obesity code, which were to eat less often, and that changed my life within a year and a half. I, I went from morbidly obese to a normal weight, uh, 190 pounds in a year and a half, changed just by that spark. Uh, some other greatest hits, the Intensive Dietary Management uh, Program, which is a clinic, Dr. Funk's clinic in Toronto. Uh, they treat obesity with, uh, with different techniques, but one of them includes fasting. Uh, Verda Health Corporation, which uses dietary solutions for people that are obese and uh, have type 2 diabetes. Uh, they call it a well-formulated ketogenic diet. A uh, couple of other examples, meatheals.com, where people using nutrition, uh, using an elimination diet to fundamentally heal themselves and uh, improve their life with no pills. In fact, they're getting rid of pills. Uh, they're, they're healing themselves and finding new vitality just by changing nutrition. Uh, and here's a blog, uh, I like this blog, Diagnosis, Diagnosis Diet by uh, uh, Georgia Ede. Uh, these are these are some examples of places to start for anybody that wants to break out of the conventional wisdom, look for alternatives. This is a great place to start. Uh, and you, you can follow this. There's thousands of others uh, just like it. Now, once you start looking at this alternative media channel, then you can start doing the hard work you, on your habits. You can start working on them. And the habits... The habits, I'm, I don't call it addictions anymore, it's just habits. We can start working on it. And I call this channel now Power Rock. because I don't know why, I'm keeping with the radio analogy, but it's Power Rock because it's disruptive, uh, 
it's a systematic formation of new habits. It requires rewiring our mental circuitry. Uh, it requires work, but it feels good. It's something like exercise or dancing. It's, it's strenuous, but it feels good because we're making progress. Uh, it's a go-to. We go to this station when we feel good and positive. Unlike the, the former station, uh, what did we call it? Um, easy listening that we went to, we escaped to that when we felt bad. This one, we go here when we're feeling good and we've got ideas and we're motivated. Uh, we start working on new habits. Um, uh, the greatest hits, the example of the greatest hits on the Power Rock station are eat less often, uh, reduce consumption of carbohydrate. Uh, do one or the other for sure, or both, like in my case. And I just want, I'll make another little editorial statement. All of the really fantastic weight loss stories that I have seen where people have gone from morbidly obese, um, you know, and, and lost a significant amount of weight involved one or the other of both of these principles, eating less often, some type of fasting, uh, and or a significant reduction in carbohydrate. So since we're talking about losing weight here, the, these are important to stress. Uh, some of the other greatest hits, I'm giving up sugar for a month, doing a trial, like starting to self-experiment. Uh, early to bed, early to rise. I'm stressing sleep. Uh, that's important. I feel good. I want to sleep. Uh, new habits. I'm going to keep a daily weight journal. Breaking old habits, starting new habits. I'm going to go for a walk. Not going to madly stress myself out, killing myself doing exercises, but I'm going to walk, get some fresh air, move around uh, four times a week. New habits. I'm going to practice mindful eating. I'm going to think about what I eat and eat to satiety. I'm going to listen to my body. New habits. Um, breaking habits. Uh, life can be enjoyed without eating crap. Every kind. You know, it's possible to go to a party or an event or whatever and not just indulge in crap food. It, you can enjoy life without it. Uh, learn to prepare your own food. Skip the drive through Just make yourself, make yourself a meal. Use fresh, whole food. Uh, breaking old habits. Develop rituals. Be consistent. And that's the whole point here. Uh, and we're doing this. We're using ideas that we get from the alternative media channel and we're constructing new habits. We're breaking old habits. We're breaking our addictions, number one, and establishing new habits, number two. And then guess what happens? As a result of that, uh, you know, the uh, You Suck FM starts to play less often and we start to hear it less often. Now, it didn't happen right away for me. I had made huge progress on my weight loss and the, I'm going to say you suck FM kind of changed to, well, maybe you don't suck quite as much FM, you know. Uh, and then later on it became, well, you still suck, but you're doing some good here, uh, FM. And then finally, it's just like I couldn't hear that noise at all anymore. I just, it just changed into what I'm calling now Just Do It FM. It's a positive playlist. It's centered on a, having a good attitude and an open mind. It just kind of flows from the rest of it. And that's what I want to stress here. It flows from the right to the left. We opened our mind to the new ideas in alternative media on the right. We started working on them. We disrupted our old addictions and we started establishing new habits. And as a result of that, our mindset started changing, started becoming more positive. We started to think better, better about ourselves start to feel good about ourselves. And this is just do it station. Now we're, we're hearing things in our head like, you have hidden strengths. Uh, keep moving forward one day at a time. Dream big, never give up. You might slide a little bit, but never give up. Learn from mistakes. Be willing to change. I need to keep my mind open. What else is out there? What other things do I need to change? Uh, be willing to step out of my comfort zone. I did it once or twice. I have to remember to keep doing that because that worked out for me. So this is all, it's all tied together. And these things, it has a ripple effect. It flows down and then it flows back. And you just, 
instead of an en endless cycle spiraling downward into negativity and, and addiction, suddenly you're spiraling upward because you're open to new changes. You test them. Sometimes they work. Maybe sometimes they don't. But you keep moving forward and your attitude gets better. So uh, I... <laughs> Uh, I'm kind of sailed through that fast, but I think you get my point. We have to change the radio stations that are playing in our head and look at the ones that we're playing. We're listening to conventional wisdom. That traps us. It's like, it's like a cloud that surrounds us and traps us. Uh, for many of us with bad habits, bad eating habits and addictions, there's no escape because there's bad advice. And then the You Suck FM comes on and we start to feel bad about ourselves and we let people down. Um, as, uh, as Tommy Tomlinson uh, said in a book, and I don't know if I quoted this in part one, uh, if I did, uh, I think I did, but if I didn't, he said, you know, the people, when we become morbidly obese, uh, it affects everyone around us. Uh, and you can see the disappointment in their eyes, I'm paraphrasing, and we carve lines in their faces and we, we kind of doom them to uh, a life alone, you know, let's say if, if you prematurely die from this. Uh, so change the radio stations, get out of the conventional wisdom, open your mind to alternative media, alternative voices, alternative techniques, Break your addictions, develop new habits, develop a new attitude about yourself. And um, I didn't know I was doing this when I started. It just happened one day, a light bulb went on when I read that book, The Obesity Code. <clears throat> and I started along on this journey. And I've been trying to figure it out along the way. The reason I started this channel was just to start telling people, look, I was, I was doomed. I was with that old playlist, the old channels. I had given up. You suck FM. I agreed with it. And frankly, I was resigned to defeat. Uh, I didn't believe I could ever change. I said I'd given up and figured, oh, you know, probably, probably won't live to be that old. Uh, I started this channel because, whoa, what a mistake that I'm thinking that was. My eyes have been opened and I was able to turn my life around, uh, find new health. And now I'm, you know, uh, happy and, and doing, doing all kinds of new things and, and feeling great. And um, yeah, experiencing everything that I thought a, a, a life uh, at a normal weight in a, in a, in a positive mindset could be, but it's even more than I ever thought it could be. So that's why I started this channel to share this information. And I want to thank, uh, Tommy Tomlinson because you're reading your book and, and inspired me to come up with this uh, concept here of how we need to change our channels, how I change my channels, uh, my mental channels. I hope this kind of analogy works for people. I hope it makes some sense. It's not too strained. Um, uh, I, I like it and, and I, I hope others will, will like it too and, and have some benefit. Uh, but I just wanted uh, people to understand how it flowed for me, how I got into the old mindset and how I broke out of it. Uh, and it, it flowed from, from right to left. Um, so, yeah, again, I wanted to thank the author, Mr. Tomlinson, for uh, that You Suck FM that, that stuck in my mind. And I said, yeah, I used to have that. Where did it go and how did it go away? And I kept thinking on that and I thought about it for a while and I came up with this, this scenario. Again, I really hope that Mr. Tomlinson actually, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to post this to, uh, to his attention on Twitter. I, I hope he reads it and if he can give me a comment on it, I'd, I'd like to know his, his feedback on it. Uh, or anyone else's for that matter. Whether he reads it or not, I, uh, I put it out there because I, I think this is helpful for all of my viewers or anybody on a journey or struggling. Um, I think this kind of mindset uh, uh, could be helpful. 
So I uh, went on a long time. This is a uh, maybe a lot to absorb. I hope I covered everything. I think I did. So uh, I'm going to close off uh, the part two uh, right now. Thank you for watching. Uh, and uh, thanks again for all the supporters and good questions uh, that I have from from my followers. Uh, it's, uh, it's invigorating for me, to, the feedback I get, because uh, I continue to get feedback where people tell me how they're motivated, they're making changes, and uh, that's great. Uh, until next time, Jim signing off. Take care, everyone.